Yeah, well, that's right. emotion, right? I mean, again, the, the same fear and emotion that drives you to to reach that position where you want to go to cash. You, you need the you know reverse of that to get back in. And, and what makes you feel good? You know, markets are going up. Green. And so, you are green. So Euf uh, it's euphoria. usually the, 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 the sell low, buy high. And that's not usually a good recipe. So. Well, so, just investing by emotion, it gets tough too, right? You're, you're selling to end the pain and then you don't want to start investing, like you said, until you feel better. And what do all of us need to feel better? You need green markets and not just one. You need a lot of them. Yeah, well, for with, sure. With that, Adam, how how do you and Chris get the old? I mean, we all get the question, you know, why don't I just this won't stop going down? It feels like it won't stop going down. Why don't I just go to cash and kind of sidestep this for a little bit and then go back when I feel better? Or well, at least when things have settled down, when the market stabilized, when et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. You know, we've what, all thought it. Um, one of the things I try to do, I mean, I, I'm a total numbers person and I, I mean, all this data is great, but sometimes people are, you know, I mean, you think emotionally and um, I try to explain that, you know, a lot of things in our life are, are linear, um, or at least in, you know, we anticipate and it's, uh, you know, perfect example, like crossing the street. I mean, if you can't anticipate, you're dead before you, you make it very far, right? You look at the car, you see how far it is away, you see how fast it's going. And can I get across the street anticipating that, hey, I know where it's going to be at a certain point in time. I mean, these are simple decisions we make every day. You know, the other one is, you know, just kids hitting a baseball. I mean, ball relieves the pitcher's hand. You don't wait until it gets to the plate to swing. You you have to anticipate where it's going to be. The problem is we, they do, you know, clients, people in general, our, our human nature is to do the same thing with markets. Well, I'm down 5% this month. That's 10% next month. That's 60% over the course of the year. I'm going to be out of Bro, money in a Christmas. year and a half. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be out of money. Um, and so it, it's a tough, it's a tough sell. They don't understand that the things are, multiple things are already priced in. And markets can change directions quickly. You, you just because again, it's the old slide that I don't have, but everyone's seen it. That you know, the average return of the market, it's almost never been hit. There's very few times where the average return of the market is the actual return in any given year. It's either a lot higher or a lot lower. A lot higher, a lot lower. I yeah. mean, everybody thinks that's how well, you get I'm, to the average. Yeah, if I'm going to average five, I probably will hit like you know six some years and four some years. It's, it's no, it's it's positive twenty and it's it's negative eight and and all the things in between they get you to that average. So that's one of the things we talk about. And then uh, and then I think like like Kyle mentioned a little bit, you know, two right calls. I mean, pure math. You got to get out and you got to get back in. You know, flip a coin once, that's a fifty percent chance. You got to get it right two times in a row. That's a 25% chance. And, you know, probability tells you that you're in the market. And I think th there's a slide on that that I don't have up as a, at the moment. But, I mean, the longer you're in the market, better chance to make money. So the, the going to cash thing, too, though, I mean, what's so difficult about it is it is it puts you almost in a frozen kind of position, a frozen feeling. And, and I've, I've had clients feel this before and, and have been in it because it's very easy to hit we the all sell have. button. Yeah. <laughs> it's very easy to hit the sell button. Just get out. You just stopped the pain. Everything just now feels good. You feel happy, but we all know with inflation where it's at, that being in a cash position for the rest of your life isn't a plan also. So now you've just put yourself in a position to get back in. And so now the conversations I've had with clients have gone both ways. They've actually been right. The market's gone lower a little mm -hmm. bit. They're thinking, okay, I can buy back. So I call the client up. Congratulations. You called it perfect. Let's get back in. Well, I don't want to get back in now. It's only going to get worse. I was gonna right. down. This, this thing is it. just going to keep going down and down and down. I'm not touching this thing with a 10 foot pole. Or vice versa, the market goes up. Hey, you know, you win some, you lose some. Let's not make a, a small problem bigger. Let's start nibbling back in. No, no, no. I still know this thing's a, a piece of junk. I know it's going to go lower. I'm going to wait this thing out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. market, market goes up higher. All right, let's really not make this problem worse. Well, yeah, maybe I had a missed call there, but I don't want to buy the exact same stuff and pay more for it for what I sold. So I'm just going to wait for the market to correct back to where I got out years later they're still in cash and so once you go to a cash position the, the hardest thing is to get back because you usually don't like the market no matter what it does if it goes up you don't want to pay more for what you right. got out of and if it goes down you think it's only going to get worse so you end up just sitting on your hands for years and that's, so, uh, that's a really difficult position to be in going to cash is a per perfect example of something that feels good in the short term doesn't work out in the long term it, it, but it feels good like you said it ends the pain and you're out but you never get back in or you don't get back in at the right time because you, as you just explained and it ends up costing you money in the long run. So yeah, just Chris always says uh, his thing to clients is just how much higher do you want the market to be before you get back in? 
right? And they, well, it's, it's they don't really well, that's around. emotion, right? I mean, again, the, the same fear and emotion that drives you to to reach that position where you want to go to cash. You, you need the you know reverse of that to get back in, and, and what makes you feel good? You know, markets are going up. Green, and so you green. So Euph uh, it's euphoria. usually the, the the sell low, buy high, and that's not usually a good recipe. So. Well, just so, investing by emotion, it gets tough too, right? You're, you're selling to end the pain and then you don't want to start investing, like you said, until you feel better. And what do all of us need to feel better? You need green markets and not just one. You need a lot of them.